Yankees are at Fenway Park for Derek Jeter's final game ever. And Jeter gets a rousing welcome from the Fenway Park crowd. He's also greeted by some Boston sports luminaries, including Bobby Orr and Paul Pierce. And, of course, the Red Sox show love as well. David Ortiz and Dustin Pedroia show Jeter plenty of respect as the Yankees captain prepares for his final game. In the first inning, Derek Jeter steps up against Red Sox starter Clay Buchholz, and the Boston crowd shows its appreciation. The designated hitter, number two, Derek Jeter. And Jeter came to swing the bat on the 0-1 pitch. He'll line one towards shortstop. Jamile Weeks will make the leaping catch for the out, and the Yankees would go 1-2-3 in the inning. Top three, though, New York puts two on for Ichiro Suzuki, and he'll take Buckholz into the gap in right center field. That's in for extra bases. It's a two-run triple, and the Yankees open up a 2-0 lead. The next man to step up for New York is Jeter, as the Fenway crowd looks on intently at number two one more time. The one-two, chop toward third. It's a base hit and an RBI for Jeter, and the Yankees lead 3-0. And they toss that ball into the Yankee dugout in case it's his last one. Well, what does he want to do? And that is going to be it for Derek Jeter. His final hit, an RBI single, as Jeter says goodbye to baseball. And baseball says goodbye to him. Derek Jeter's 3,465th career hit is his last. It's an infield RBI single, and he gives a curtain call one more time to the crowd at Fenway as he leaves the field. Bottom four now. New York has a 4-0 lead, and Michael Pineda's in control. He'll strike out Daniel Nava to begin the frame. In the fifth, Bryce Brents will strike out. In the sixth, Mookie Betts will go down on a foul tip. Pineda goes six in the third, and he would tie his career high with 10 Ks in all. Top seven now with 7-0 Yankees, and they'll add to that as pinch hitter Austin Romine doubles off the green monster against Drake Britton. That scores another run. The Yankees would put up a five spot in the frame and take a 9-0 lead. In the middle of the seventh inning, Bernie Williams, Derek Jeter's former teammate, comes onto the field at Fenway Park to play take the out to the ball game on his guitar. A nice moment in Boston as Bernie salutes his former mate Derek Jeter, and on we go. Ninth inning now, it's 9-5 Yankees, and Derek Jeter looks on and hopes for a win as David Phelps deals to Dan Butler. Five ball, left field. Young is there, and that will do it for the game, and that will do it for Derek Jeter as an active Major League player. A job well done. Nine to five Yankees is your final as Derek Jeter's soon-to-be Hall of Fame career comes to an end. The Yankees wrap up the season with 84 wins, good for second place in the American League East. Boston finishes last in the division, going 71 and 91. Derek Jeter will cap off his career in sixth place on the all-time hits list, and he also passes Lou Gehrig and Mickey Mantle for the most games played by a Yankee at Fenway Park with 153. 